riot shields. Oh, what can I say? Uh, I've only had the pleasure of using them twice, once at PRZ, once at Georgina. Man, to play the riot shield class is a skill like none other. Not only are you only running pistol, so you have to understand your shot and make your shots very well, but you have to hide behind a tiny shield that's, what are standard rules, 36 by 20. Uh, the smaller you are, the easier it's going to be for sure. But the best and most skilled Riot Shield players that I've had to go face to face against, uh, like my good friend Pat May, the Cellar Dweller, they absolutely disappear behind that shield, and it is tough shooting to get or get anything sticking out. Um, the pros of it you get a walking shield you can bring players up with you and they can shoot a snap shoot around you which is amazing uh you can also sneak up on people and just poke your pistol around and shoot at them which is crazy helpful when they can only hit your shield and maybe hit your hand as it goes in and out cons oh game rules <laughs> because it can only be 36 by 20 it is not very wide i'm not a big guy and i had a very difficult time adjusting to try and hide behind that shield my legs were hanging out or my head is hanging out uh, i'm not keeping my arms fully in it's tough i'm i gotta hand it to all the riot shield players if you can do it and you could do it efficiently and well my hat's off to you uh, i would recommend if you are going to go this route play a lot of walk-on days where you're allowed to use the shield or if you're feeling it just go out to a big game and just hammer it all day long you get hit and you make sure you get right back to that front line to get as much practice in as possible